Next up, we're looking at Lean. So Lean is a waste diverse and iterative process. So the concept of Lean is deliver the smallest piece of, uh, of uh, value that I can and validate that it works, that uh, validate risks up front. It is all about paring things down both process wise and delivery, uh, delivery wise. It has a reasonable amount of crossover with Agile and I'm, I'll come to that soon. And it is iterative. So the process and product are incrementally improved by cycles of learning and development. So you will have a part of your process that is stop, take stock, what have we learned from the most recent cycle? What can we do to improve for next time? Maybe there is nothing, but it really has a focus on retooling before you begin the next piece. Lean is good for addressing risks quickly and cheaply. You may have uh, a desire to do a product that has uh, integration with a third party API. You need to address that risk very, very quickly. If you have trouble with that third party API and third party integrations are the worst part of software development, um, uh, that is integrating with an existing system that requires documentation of how you're supposed to integrate. Sometimes that documentation may not actually uh, uh, be true to life. Uh, you want to find out if that's going to fail as early as possible before you've spent all your money. If you find that out later on in the process, you end up with budget overruns, etc. It has a high focus on market validation and making a successful product, not the right product. So in this case, the right product is your vision. You came into this thinking, I am going to build this exact thing. This is the way it's going to be. Everyone will love it. That is not the focus of Lean. Lean is about building something that the market actually wants because that's better than having built the thing that you wanted to build and having no market for it whatsoever. And it empowers the team, improves engagement. People within the lean process are actively uh, advised to raise their hand and actually say, oh, I think we could do this better. I think we could make this change or that change. Downsides of lean. Lean <laughs> requires a high caliber of people in your system. If you don't have people who are good at adapting to change and good at um, working across multiple disciplines or at least doing the thing that they do really, really well, it's actually not a great fit for you. Um, if you have people who are just going to go, oh, my job's done, I'm not going to think about it, I'm not going to give consideration to the full, the full picture, lean is not a good fit. Requires buy-in from stakeholders and commitment to the concept. If you do lean incorrectly, um, this is one of those hard ones of uh, dogmatism. It can break down because there are certain parts of the principles that need to be adhered to to get the most out of it. If you think you're doing lean but you decide to, uh, uh, how best to say it, you think you're doing lean but you want to uh, continuously, you, you, you increase the scope until you're actually releasing something that's not really lean at all, you think the lean process has failed. What's actually failed is you haven't done the work to really work out how to pare down your releases and release something small. And it requires flexibility in the team. They need to actually be quite open-minded about, um, about the running of the project. And I include in the team the client. Like You need to all be engaged in what it is you're trying to do.